Even after Mahasa Mini's first death anniversary, while well, Iran continues to make headlines for all the wrong reasons. In a surprise move, Tehran has now blocked international inspectors from monitoring its nuclear activities. The International Atomic Energy Agency has called the move disproportionate and unprecedented. Well, earlier this week, IAEA's Board of Governors asked Tehran to explain uranium traces found at undeclared sites. The call was led by the United States, UK, France and Germany. Well, in March, IAEA found uranium particles with up to 83.7% purity in an underground site. The number is much higher than 60% of the level to which Iran is authorized to enrich its uranium. Now, here is why uranium is a subjective discussion in Iran. Well, in 2015, major world powers reached a nuclear deal with Tehran. Under this deal, Tehran curbed its nuclear program in exchange for relief from severe economic sanctions. Now, Iran has been under sanctions from the United States since 1979, which crippled the nation's economy. But in 2018, US pres former U.S. President Donald Trump unilaterally withdrew from the deal and reimposed the sanctions. Iran said that the West is misusing nuclear agencies for their own agendas. And in response to IAEA's threats, Iran has now barred nuclear inspectors from conducting their businesses in the country. The barring was done through a process called de-designation. In these countries, which are a part of the Non-Proliferation Treaty, they can veto inspectors from visiting nuclear sites. The UN agency expressed concern as this move removed about one-third of experienced inspectors designated for Iran. Well, the IAEA said that Tehran's decision went beyond normal practice, as Iran said that it will bar several inspectors without giving a number. Meanwhile, IAEA's Director General Rafael Grossi said, and I'm quoting here, I strongly condemn this disproportionate and unprecedented unilateral measure which affects the normal planning and conduct of agency verification activities in Iran and it openly contradicts the cooperation that should exist between the agency and Iran.